Thank you very much. Uh, first, I just want to say thank you to everyone that came today um, and to the org for our honorarium. Uh, we're really happy to be here. I think um, it's also humbling to be in the presence of you guys. Uh, just um, thank you for what you bring. It's, it's really wonderful. Um, and I also want to thank David Best, who really has served uh, as a mentor for me um, and my team. And in fact, our team, please, yeah. Um, and in fact, our team met uh, when we were uh, working on Temple of Grace together. Um, so we have that lineage in our hearts, and we're just really grateful for it. Okay, this may be the this may be the a different presentation than I loaded in here, but uh, we'll go with it. Uh, so this is our core team. Uh, we are architects, engineers, uh, fundraisers, volunteer coordinators. Um, uh, we are literally moving mountains this year. Uh, these guys are, uh, are pretty amazing. Uh, and they're all artists and creators in their own right. Um, so I, I just, uh, they're also some of the most loving and caring people I've ever worked with. So I just, uh, thank you. I just I feel very lucky all the time for you guys. Uh, and the team is growing every day. So this doesn't represent um, uh, all of the outpouring uh, of generosity that we've had from the community. Um, so we hope that that keeps coming. Uh, there's a lot to be grateful for with this. So Catacomb uh, begins with inspiration. Um, and I find myself uh, inspired by the ability of art on the playa to transform us. Um, it's a, a really unique place uh, to do art. And uh, art on the playa really helps us to see differently. Um, they provide us uh, with uh, an opportunity to engage more deeply with ourselves and with each other. Um, so what this brings for, um, sorry guys, uh, what this brings um, in terms of celebration, mourning, and reflecting, um, and what we ultimately do uh, when we burn these pieces, um, this type of art has the ability to create release. So that's the kind of art that I want to be uh, uh, bringing to the playa. Um, the inspiration of the veils, I think there's a slide missing, yep. That's OK. Uh, the inspiration of the veils um, is really about those things uh, uh, that, are, uh, that we pass through. So uh, passing through the veil in terms of death or um, looking through a veil maybe to a different dimension. Um, and in the case of taking the veil, it's also about a commitment to a higher calling. Um, veils are things that we uh, use to obscure ourselves, and they are things that we cast off in moments of revelation. Um, and in terms of those uh, places that are inspirational, um, I look to the playa um, as a place that's inspirational. Um, places where you actually descend uh, downward, so catacombs, and places that are lit from, uh, from above or within. So these are really places where the physical space uh, is, a, is a direct reflection of the uh, spiritual ambition. So Catacomb of Veils is a journey. Um, from a distance, it will appear like a rocky outcropping on the horizon, so part of the landscape. Um, but as you approach it, um, you uh, will be able to climb up on it. Um, so you climb up from the backside. Uh, you arrive in the eastern narthex. Uh, the light filtering down uh, in the eastern narthex uh, uh, is very is this dappled effect. Um, and that's where you begin your descent downward. So, uh, so the, the, the real experience is the downward descent into the catacomb. Um, sort of the walls are richly decorated with relics. Um, and they culminate in the entrance to the um, sanctum. So the sanctum is the heart of the experience. It's the place where we can reflect on that journey. Um, so we received a very generous grant um, from Burning Man. And this slide in its original uh, iteration had all of our information on it, but um, we'll get it to you a different way. Um, but uh, the org gave us a great uh, gift in, in the grant, and we'd like the community's help in bringing it to the playa. Um, some of the things that are driving up our costs right now are that we're committed to uh, building in the city of San Francisco, um, which for a project this size, you might imagine, is uh, outrageously expensive. So, um, so we're looking for money. Uh, we've set up a, a fiscal sponsorship through Fra Fractured Atlas. Um, so uh, you can give 501c3 donations. Um, our fundraising is going to kick off this week, so that, that's coming. But actually, the link at Fractured Atlas is live, so you could donate today if you wanted to. 
Um, and then the second thing that we're looking for is volunteer support. Um, the project will require many, many hands to build. Uh, so we're kicking off that effort uh, this weekend uh, at Ocean Beach. And uh, you can go to our Facebook page for more information on that. Um, and I just want to close by saying that really I think the volunteer effort is the heart of this project. Um, uh, the community and generosity that we've experienced so far has just been outrageous. I spend so much time just being grateful um, for what this community uh, brings. And gifting is one of the most important things that we do. Um, so this gift uh, is a mountain that we're moving to, a playa, to the playa. Um, it is, uh, it's a memory. It's just, it's a moment before we burn it. And uh, Catacomb is an opportunity to be part of that. So thank you.